Welcome to the Learning Lab. My name is Roman Garcia. And today what we're going to show you is an example of the functional qualities that pliability in the joint gives an individual. Now we already know that pliability is very important in order for you to maintain healthy joints. But I want to show you what pliability does to an individual when they possess high amounts of it. Now what I'm going to do, what you're about to see is you're going to see a race, a 40 yard dash race between myself who's 53 years old and a friend of mine. His name is Zach Valcarcel. I'm going to let him introduce himself and then we're going to do the race so you can see the difference between a joint that are starting to lose pliability versus an individual of a very young age who has tremendous amounts of pliability. And that's basically the difference of, uh, between a young man and an older man. The young man has tremendous amounts of pliability and those, joint, those joints, when they are exposed to a certain type of stress, they give out energy that the individual uses and you can observe in the form of speed, jumping ability, etc. So I'm going to introduce to you uh, my friend, um, Zach. Zach, I understand that you play football, right? Yes. How old are you? 16 years old. What positions do you play? Running back in first half. Well, you've been timed before in the 40 yard dash. Yes. What, what's been your best time? 4-7. 4-7? Now, 4-7 is real fast. And you can expect that as Zach gets older, that 40 yard dash time is going to improve. Because as his muscles get stronger and still maintaining the same levels of pliability that his joints possess now, he's going to gain a few seconds or a few fractions of a second on that 40 yard dash. So what I'm going to let you see now is the difference between myself who's 53 years old and it's already lost some pliability in the joints and the abilities of my joints to give out energy when they're exposed to, to normal load versus somebody, an individual who's 16 years old as my friend Zach is. So what you're about to see is a 40 yard dash between a man who's 53 years old and 16 years old. I do not expect to win. I just hope that he doesn't beat me uh, horrifically bad. So what you're going to see now is that race, a 16 year old versus a 53 year old man in a 40 yard dash. And you're going to see the difference of what pliability creates in an individual. So Zach and I are going to go to the starting line and we're going to do the race now so you guys can see it. Alrighty? On your mark, get set, go! Now, you saw what happened. He beat me by a good second or so. I was not expecting to win this race. But as you can see, the tremendous amount of pliability Zach possesses versus what I possess is the difference in this race. Again, the difference between a 16 year old, 16 year old man versus a 53 year old man. I'm almost dying here trying to keep up with this young man. Now Zach is a really good football player. You may see him one day in the NFL. So what he just ran right now most likely was probably a 4-6, maybe touch 4-5 maybe four seven, but it was in that range, real fast. I was a good second behind him. Again, my joints just do not give out the same amount of energy that Zach does. Because Zach, when he's running, and he, can use, and he exposes his knees to compressive loads, those joints just spring right back. And that's not to say that as we get older, we don't, we're not able to maintain the pliability, but that is what's important in order for you to experience to have healthy joints as you get older. So expect to see this young man in the NFL one day and I'll be looking out for him. And again, anybody who watches this video, I want to thank you until next time.